Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to another video today. My name is Chris, and today we do have some breaking news to go over. That's right, the Sears and Roebuck store, currently located in the Flatbush Avenue on Beverly Road in Brooklyn, New York, will be closing on Sunday, November 14th, 2021. So liquidation sales will be starting this Friday, and all these people will be losing their job at this Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck store. It's very unfortunate. Uh, this is the last de facto, uh, art de facto rather, uh, Sears and Roebuck location. Uh, this will be very sad that this store is finally closing. Uh, the Kmart department that is within this store uh, is unfortunately going to be closing as well along with the Sears and Roebuck store. This is a pretty unique Sears and Roebuck store. Um, there is also another one that is closing. That video will be following this video, um, but I wanted to make this video uh, t talking specifically about the Sears and the Flatbush neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, this is a real shame. Again, uh, liquidation sales do start um, this Friday, I believe, which is Friday, September 17th, 2021, uh, and will be concluding liquidation sales by Sunday, November 14th, 2021. So, uh, very sad. All these people will be losing their job uh, inside the building as well as the Kmart too. That's also going as well. I mean, look at look at this. This I mean, this is a historical landmark. It's a shame that this uh, store is closing. This is in Brooklyn. This is the Sears Roebuck and Company building. This was very similar um, and actually a lot more um, like better looking architecture than the Sears and Roebuck and Company store in downtown Hackensack, New Jersey, which actually closed last year in 2020. Uh, this store will be no more as of November 14th, 2021, because there's another store that is also closing uh, along with this store as well. So this will be a real loss for the uh, community of Brooklyn. Uh, you can see that this was still a very active uh, Sears parking lot. So uh, this is going to be an absolute shame for this community to lose the Sears store, especially the fact that it has a Kmart department inside the Sears. It's like the Macy's with Macy's backstage. Um, but again, it's, it's an absolute shame to see this Sears go. Uh, this has been here for a very long time. Hopefully they'll, um, you know, redevelop it into like an office building or something or something with apartments, I'm sure. I'm sure some land, I'm sure uh, Eddie probably sold the building and I'm sure some uh, prop or landlord or rather uh, is coming in and has plans to complete, uh, rather renovate the building more so and, and put in some kind of new, uh, pump some new life into this uh, soon to be former Sears and Roebuck store. Um, so again, it's unfortunate. It's another casualty of Sears and Kmart. And yes, I know uh, pretty soon I'll be, I will have to once again uh, do the non-liquidating and liquidating Sears and Kmart store map. But um, I don't know what the future is going to hold. I know there's that court hearing with Eddie on the 26th. So a lot's up in the air basically with that. So, And again, this is the parking lot. Uh, this store, I believe, does not have an auto center, but I'm going to double check that uh, real quick. Um, so, you know, again, it's, it's really just a basic, you know, um, 1920s, 1930s Sears building. Um, sad too. This is, this was a really nice, this is a really nice store. Very nice store. It's a shame to see this, uh, building going, uh, over here we have the merchandise pickup section. Um, and then I believe over here is the loading dock for the trucks. Um, and then this is another entrance that was probably closed off due to uh, people like uh, yeah, uh, you know shoplifting the store and I guess Sears just yeah there's only one entrance into this store so I think they wanted to limit uh, entrances of shoplifters so but it's a shame that this store is going uh, this is again this has been a staple in this neighborhood of uh, Flatbush in Brooklyn New York and it's a shame it is now closing unfortunately November 14th is the last day of operation liquidation sales start the 17th of November so again just really sad to see this store going uh, again I wish the people the best of luck of finding a new job and I know it's going to be difficult given you know the COVID-19 pandemic and you know the question really now is 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 Sears and Kmart going to survive the COVID-19 pandemic and you know honestly I don't know the answer to that question given their store fleet I mean we're de they're down to now 40 Sears stores and 17 Kmart stores yes there's another Sears store closing so you'll have to watch that video after this video to find out which location that is I don't want to give that away just yet but it is a, it is a Sears store and it's on the west coast so I think you guys I think you guys have a base a pretty good idea of where it's going to be it's it's going to be in California but I don't want to name the location you guys are just going to have to watch the video for that so here's the main grand entrance of the Sears Roebuck and Company store 
uh, some more of, of the side of the side of the building. Obviously, the entrances have been closed off due to shoplifting in this area of Brooklyn, so it didn't it doesn't surprise me that they closed off those areas. Uh, truck areas, store dumpster. Also, too, the Kmart is going to be closing as well, so we will now officially not have a Kmart within a Sears department. Seems that concept completely flopped. Uh, they tried it in, in Brooklyn, and now uh, Brooklyn will be closing um, by November of 2021. So, and yeah, that's that's basically it. I don't think there's an auto center at this Sears and Roebuck store, or maybe there is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this Sears and Roebuck store has an auto center. I could be wrong. They might still have an auto center, but I don't think this one ever had an auto center. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe they just got rid of it. Who knows? But. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's going to be it. Uh, again, wishing the employees at this soon-to-be former Sears and Roebuck store the absolute best of luck uh, on their on their next career, their next job, and, you know, hopefully they'll be able to work, you know, through November, and then that'll be it for Sears in Brooklyn. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you – actually, before we go, um, I actually want to find – I want to show you guys where I got my information from, uh, and it was on Sears Careers. This was their Twitter page uh, – they posted this at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and they do have closing jobs of temporary cashier up to 40 hours available, store closing location Brooklyn, and again, or no, cashier, and they're also doing backroom as well. So this is where this basically confirms right here this screenshot from their Twitter page. Uh, this does 100% confirm that the Sears and Roebuck store, the, the art de facto store in Brooklyn, New York City, New York, uh, is closing. And this is the this. And what's ironic about this? This is the last Sears and Roebuck store within New, in, within within the New York City boroughs. Uh, so after this store closes in November, there will no longer be a single Sears store left uh, within New York City. Still going to be Kmart's, but no more Sears stores in New York City after this one closes. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.